Hello YouTube, this is Frank from Architecture Aesthetics. And today in this video, I want to briefly talk to you about some pragmatic tricks when working with Adobe InDesign and Adobe Acrobat that I think is going to save you some headaches during your final output stage in your workflow. Uh, now, one of the problems I encountered when I first started using InDesign was I had difficulty moving pages into existing documents. So for example, I have here a document a single panel I had been working on separately and I really wish to move into this panel's combined document as the first page so that I can later export them as a single combined file. But if you were to go to the final drop-down menu, there's no apparent way that allows you to do so. This is because InDesign requires a very counterintuitive operation to achieve our objective. And what you need to do is to right-click on the page you wish to move and select the move pages option and this dialog box is going to pop up and the first option is asking for the range of the pages you wish to move in this case since we're only since we're only going to move this one single page we're going to leave it as one and the second option is going to determine the position of the pages after it had been moved so if we were to so if we want to make it as the first page in the in the other document we're going to leave it as before page one and the third option is asking for the destination document and since the file is called panels combined we're going to select uh, the, the file name in this menu and after we had hit OK you can see that the page has been successfully transferred to the other document and now we're going to look at how to split the individual pages in a PDF document into their standalone files using Adobe Acrobat. As you can see, we have exported the panels combined file into this single PDF. And this is typically what you want in terms of the end result. But there may come a time when you're expected to extract all the individual pages as standalone documents. And in order to do so, we're going to go to the Organize Pages panel. And in this panel, you can see that there are two buttons that essentially do the same job, which are the Extract and the Split buttons. In my personal opinion, the Split button is more fitted for documents that contain a tremendous amount of pages. And since we only have four individual pages, we're going to use the Extract button to do the job. First, we're going to select the extract option and select all the pages we're looking to extract and then check the box which says extract pages as separate files finally click on the extract button and after we have selected a path for the application to store all the files we can see that we have successfully split all the pages into their standalone files conversely Combining multiple different documents into a single PDF file using Adobe Acrobat is easy as a breeze. To do this, first we're going to open the application. And then in the file drop-down menu, we're going to select Create and Combine Files into a single PDF. And inside of this preview panel, we're going to select Add Files and select all the individual files we're looking to combine. And after we have confirmed that the files are correct in the preview panel, we're going to click on the Combine button. And lastly, select a path for the application to store the file. We're going to name it as PDF Combined. And we can see that all the individual pages have been successfully combined into one single PDF file. Alright guys, that's all I got to say in this video. Hope you found this video informative. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see all of you in the next video. Bye bye.